And whether you're going to work or running a few errands, when cold weather strikes, you want to make sure your vehicle can handle the drop in temperature. Kelloland Sarah McDonald joins us with some timely advice for every driver. It's busy at Airway Auto Service. The decrease in temperatures means an increase in people coming in to get their cars checked out. You know, we've seen a few tire issues. We have problems with the tires leaking, you know, where the rim meets the tire, the bead, and the corrosion on them in the cold weather, they'll leak. So we see a lot of low tires. Um, seen a few batteries already. Um, try to stay up on testing batteries. And people are in getting their vehicles ready for cold weather in the forecast. Tim Jones is getting new tires today. Yeah, I got ahead of, uh, ahead of the game to make sure that they have me a spot to get in because they're going to be very busy. And uh, that's why he emphasized checking the battery out too to make sure it looks good. Broadbent has a few tips for people to keep in mind when the weather gets cold. I recommend to everybody get in the car, turn the key to on, don't try and crank it right away, give it just a few seconds, let everything get turned on, acclimated, everything's cold, work slow. But that's not all. Oil changes, you know, watch your coolant uh, at life, the, the age, uh, transmission fluid age, uh, all that stuff makes a difference when it gets cold. If, if the maintenance is all done, then the car should work properly. Leaving people like Jones prepared for whatever weather Mother Nature has in store. I try to get it in here and have Tom and the guys look at it as frequently as I can in this time of year. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Kevilland News. Uh, if you're traveling in the cold, be sure to fill up your gas tank and have an emergency kit with blankets and extra clothing with you just in case you get stranded. Now, it's also important to prepare your home for the cold weather. Stock up on food, water, and emergency supplies in case of a power outage. Close off rooms you aren't using to consolidate and retain heat. Have extra blankets and dry clothes handy. And if you do lose power, never use a stovetop or oven to try and heat your house. To see what else you should do before the storm hits, head to this Kelloland.com original report. Uh, 